Can Iran's economy support a full-on war? These are the drones and missiles Iran launched on the 13th of April 2024 to target Israel. This is the estimated cost of the weapons used by Iran to strike Israel on the 13th of April 2024. My head was spinning with a million questions. How much did Iran spend on these weapons? Where does Iran get the money for its domestic weapon production? And can Iran's economy support a direct war with Israel? The total cost of these weapons used for attacking Israel comes to around $50 million, which seems insignificant in the context of modern war affairs. But don't forget Iran has been heavily sanctioned by the US and the West since 1979. And the sanctions were designed to target Iran's economy and restrict its nuclear capabilities, energy and defense sectors. The sanctions imposed curbed Iran's oil production and export before the Russian invasion of Ukraine. The yellow line is Iran's oil production. The blue line is Iran's oil export, which is the lifeline of Iran's economy. Both were on a steady downward trend. Iran has the fourth largest oil reserves in the world. The same pattern can be seen here, which is Iran's trade, also in a decline by 2021. The Financial Times reported on the 18th of April 2024, Iran's oil export has hit the highest level in six years. The sanctions imposed on Iran's oil export were designed to limit Iran's ability to generate revenue from overseas, therefore limit Iran's ability to expand its military capabilities. So the sanctions have not worked. Iran's economy has actually grown since 2020, and Iran's military capabilities have expanded significantly. 10-Minute Economy. Subscribe. Who is funding Iran? Iran's oil minister said Iran had earned $35 billion from oil exports in 2023. Guess who was the buyer? Here comes China, again. This is how much oil China has bought from Iran in the past 10 years, despite the US sanctions imposed on Iran's oil exports. China's oil purchase from Iran reached a record high of 1.5 million barrels a day by August 2023. Bloomberg has reported most of Iran's oil has been sold to China in the past 10 years. Iran has been using dark fleet tankers to ship oil to China. These ships operate without transponders to evade detection. The number of the fleets carrying Iran's oil has grown significantly since 2021 and 253 vessels were identified in 2023. And of course, there were vessels undetected, therefore not counted. But that's not all. Iran is also cleverly receiving payments in Chinese yuan through small Chinese banks, adding another layer of secrecy to their transactions. Once the Iranian oil reaches China, it is rebranded as Malaysian or Middle Eastern oil, then sold onto small refineries in China. These small independent Chinese refineries are called teapots, and most of them are based in Shandong province. These teapots have become Iran's lifeline. It's a game of cat and mouse, with Iran navigating the murky waters of international trade to keep their oil flowing. This shows the lengths countries will go to maintain their economic interests, even in the face of sanctions. The US sanctions have restricted Iran's options, but it has not killed Iran's economy. Iran has the fourth largest oil reserves in the world, and the oil exports is the main source of income for Iran to fund its military technology, arms productions, and potentially nuclear weapons. Experts say Iran knows how to develop nuclear weapons, and it is a matter of when, not if. Weapon dealings. Iran has deepened its economic ties with Russia after the Russian invasion of Ukraine. Iran has been selling weapons to Russia through the Caspian Sea, which is another major revenue source for Iran. Tracking data shows the number of the vessels switched off their tracking systems as they go through the Caspian Sea. These are the vessels used for transporting weapons between Iran and Russia. The tracking systems are switched off to disguise their destinations. In 2022, Russian paid Iran $140 million for suicide drones, with cash payment delivered to Iran by plane. In 2022, Iran became the 16th largest arms seller. Iran's deputy defense minister said that Iran's arms exports had generated over $1 billion between March 2022 and March 2023. 
Iran has just supplied Russia with about 400 missiles. It is estimated the cost for making these missiles is only $100,000 each. Iran's low-cost weapons can bring sizable and steady income for the Iranian government as long as the war continues in Ukraine. Food or weapons? Iran was Brazil's second biggest buyer of corn in 2019. The number one item Iran has imported from overseas is cereal, which counts 14% of the total national imports. Due to food shortages, food prices have gone up by 50% in Iran. Iranian families spend half of their earnings on food, and 30% of the population live in poverty. Protests in Iran have broken out on several occasions, as the Iranian families struggle to feed themselves. This is only the beginning, since attacking Israel on the 13th of April 2024, Iran's currency has fallen to a new low against the US dollar which means importing food will be even more expensive. So food inflation should tick higher from here. International trades are settled in dollars mostly. Since the Russian invasion of Ukraine, several countries are trading in alternative currencies other than the US dollar. As Iran's relationship with the West continues to worsen, Iran has formed an alliance with Russia and China and they trade in Chinese yuan for oil and weapons, which is nearly impossible for the West to intervene. It shows another problem with heavy-handed sanctions, which can encourage the formation of the axis of evil. While dealing with food shortages, Iran's spending on military and defense has reached a record high. It is estimated Iran has a 125,000 strong military with army, navy and air forces, and the actual number could be higher. Iran's ballistic missile program is now the largest in the Middle East. In the summer of 2023, Iran showed the world its first homemade hypersonic ballistic missile, which flies five times faster than the speed of sound. Iran's domestic arms production has grown so fast, and the country has become a major weapon dealer to supply missiles and drones to Russia. In addition, Iran supplied Hamas with weapons, including rockets and armed drones. The Hamas leader confirmed in a 2022 interview that Hamas had received over $70 million in military assistance from Iran. Iran also provides about $100 million a year to several terrorist groups. Iran's spending on these relationships is manageable and sustainable as long as the oil continues to flow to China and weapons are sent to Russia. Clearly, Iran has prioritized its military ambition above its people, as you would do as an authoritarian nation. Food inflation will continue to tick higher in Iran in the coming months which is a direct result of Iran's attack on Israel on the 13th of April, 2024. Iran's currency fell by 15% against the US dollar immediately after the strike. The West is imposing further sanctions on Iran. Some experts say Iran's strike on Israel on the 13th of April will set Iran's economy back by 10 years. The full impact is yet to be seen. At the same time, Iran's political stability may be called into question if the living standards continue to fall significantly from here in Iran. Protests erupted in Iran in 2022 after the death of a young Iranian woman who was accused of showing too much hair. Protests sparked by her death have since rallied groups across Iran's society, from ethnic minorities to school children and even oil workers. Iran's government could be toppled when severe economic and political instability spread across Iran, which could be the case if Iran go into a direct full-on war against Israel. Iran has flexed its military muscles the first time in Iran's history to demonstrate its capabilities towards Israel and the West. Rather than going for a direct full-on war with Israel, which is economically damaging to both parties, the lower cost option for Iran is to use its proxies to do all the damages from here. Iran can continue to provide weapons and cash to Hamas, the Houthis and Hezbollah. 